October is National Eczema Awareness Month, and with over 31 million Americans suffering from it every single day, and 10% of those people being children, it is very important to bring awareness to the disease and highlight ways that it can be managed. People who suffer from eczema are itchy almost constantly. Their skin's very dry, it's red, uh, it's irritated, and that leads to constant itch, which then leads to scratching. The scratching then leads to more inflammation. This is known as the itch-scratch cycle. And for eczema sufferers, it can be chronic and debilitating. Unfortunately, there is no cure for eczema yet, but it definitely is manageable. So one thing I always go over with my patients is the eczema action plan. And it starts with good bathing hygiene. I always recommend lukewarm water, ensuring that the water is not too hot. When the water is too hot, it will overly dry the skin and cause more irritation and more inflammation, which is exactly what we're trying to avoid. I also recommend that the patients uh, moisturize their skin from head to toe within two to three minutes of exiting the shower. That's the time when the pores are opened uh, and you can really seal in that moisture and restore the skin barrier that is so essential for improving eczema. A product I often recommend to my patients is made by Cetaphil, the Cetaphil Restoraderm Body Wash and Moisturizer. They're the first and only products that are enriched with ceramide and filaggrin technology, which help to restore the lipid barrier and improve the protective layer of the skin, which can then retain more moisture. Both products are dermatologists recommended and have received the seal of approval from the National Eczema Association. They're both fragrance and paraben free and can be easily found at retailers nationwide. At this time of year, as the weather gets cooler and windier, it's definitely important to remember protecting the skin from the external environment by wearing gloves, for instance, scarves, and avoiding harsh chemicals and uh, fragranced items such as perfumes and colognes. For more information, visit Cetaphil.com.